Hello children, welcome back to the class. Today we are going to continue the chapter Crop Production and Management. There are some important steps in agricultural practices. Preparation of soil, sowing, adding manure and fertilizers, irrigation, protecting from weeds, harvesting and storage. We have already learned the five steps in the agricultural practices. What is the next step after protection from weeds? The next step is harvesting. In this video, we will try to understand harvesting, threshing and winnowing. The cutting of a crop after it is mature is called harvesting. In harvesting, crops are pulled out or cut close to the ground. It usually takes 3 to 4 months for a cereal crop to mature. Harvesting is either done manually or by a machine. Harvesting is either done manually by a sickle or by a machine called harvester. After harvesting, the grain seeds need to be separated from the chaff, that means stalk of the plant. This process is called threshing. The second step after harvesting is called threshing. You look at this video, here people are doing the process threshing. The grains are separated from the plants. Traditionally, Threshing can be done by hitting on a hard surface, as you can see in the picture given over here. Another method which was used is food threshing. In food threshing, the harvested crops spread on the field, then cattle is allowed to walk over the crops. While walking, the cattle will separate the grains from the plant. Nowadays, we also use a machine called threshing machine. At the end of threshing, what we obtain is the mixture of food grains. Outer covering is called chaff and very tiny pieces of stems and leaves called hay. The question in front of us is how to separate these food grains from these unwanted lighter particles. In this process, what we'll be doing is, people will separate the food grains from the chaff with the help of wind. As wind is used in this process, so this process is called winnowing. The process of separating grains from the chaff and hay with the help of wind is called winnowing. Let us see how it is done. As you can see, the image which is given in the left hand side, food grains are allowed to fall on the ground from some height. The heavy food grains fall down nearby and the lighter chaff will fly away. And winnowing can also be done by manually or by a machine. Now we will talk about the very important discovery in the field of agriculture which is a machine called combine. A combine is a huge machine which can do all three processes which we have discussed now. Harvesting, threshing as well as winnowing in one single operation. After cutting the crops from the field, that means after harvesting, now threshing is happening here. Look at the video. Threshing very fast the threshing process is happening here. The grains are separated from the plant. Along with that in another part of the machine winnowing process also will be done. You can see there winnowing with the help of air. Winnowing also happening. After winnowing process this boy is collecting the grains. The food grains which are obtained at the end of this particular process which is carried out are clean. 
then people will directly store the grains advantages of combined machine is it saves time and labor that's why so many farmers prefer using combined machine those who are having large field but it is also have some disadvantages first of all it is a very expensive machine and other disadvantages are farmers use combine on the field then it will go for cutting of crops in such a way that the crops are not cut near to the ground so the loads of residues will be left behind the ground so the yield of hay is reduced another problem is the leftover parts of plants is called stubs are burned by the farmers which leads to the loads of air pollution sometimes the fire also spread to the nearby field caused further problems after 3 or 4 months of hard work there comes the day of the harvest the period of harvest brings a great joy and happiness in all parts of india men and women celebrate it with great enthusiasm all the states of india celebrated its own harvest festival at various times throughout the year major harvest festivals in india are magar sankranti it is celebrated in the second week of january pongal it is also celebrated in the month of january it is the harvest festival of tamil nadu baisakhi it is the harvest festival of punjab and haryana holi colorful harvest festival onam onam is a 10 day harvest festival celebrated in kerala in the month of august or september bihu is the harvest festival of assam 